Hello folks, it's Jeffrey GD29 here, but it's been a while since I've done a video here of the Pokemon CCG online gameplay. This is be number this number let me take a look at this. I'm sorry. Number This is number 70 in my series, I think. It's actually number 65. It's my 65th gameplay of the Pokemon Training Card Game Online for the PC. I'm gonna feature a new deck after the uh, as you know as of September first, the new standard rotation has been taken into effect. So I mean it's every set from Sun and Moon on will be legal. You see all the sets right there. You have Guardians Rising, Burning Shadow, Shining Legends, Crimson Invasion, Ultra Prison for Light, and the Lusa Celestial Storm, which my deck features uh, the deck I'm going to preview today features. It's my Scizor GX deck. Which is a little uh, mock I'm trying to uh, trying as well. Let me go to uh, deck collector. So here, uh, let me get the feed right here. It's the only thing I have right now. It's the only thing I want to play actually. And here, so here's the list. So if you just see the GX, let me just show you how it works. So it has stage one, 210 HP metal type. It has the ability called Danger Perception. If this Pokemon has many HP is 100 or less, it just takes to do 80 damage more damage to an opponent active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. So let's say they attack like with Zorf, like 120. So we have 90 HP. So Steel Wing will be, which is one of the first attack Steel Wing. Has a metal for metal colors, does 80 damage. During points next turn, the opponent takes 30 less damage. So you can reduce. Uh, it could be a tank. So let's say Zorf will be able to do a 90 if he has a full bench. And so he can take two hits from a Scizor, from a Zor. Also, this GX has called Classic Card for three colorless energy. It does 100 plus. If your opponent's active, an evolution Pokemon does 100 more damage. So. You can 200 max, you have the Delmai's Choice Band. Two Delmai's Choice Band is 250, so you can have a Metal Ghost with that. It goes on knock out a Zorg once you have one Delmai is on the field. So it's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, actually. It's been my favorite Pokemon since the game first started. I played with like Baby Scizor, with uh, Steel Slash, and then Mega Scizor EX, as well with um, Iron Crusher. So it's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. So here we go. This is the whole list. So it plays one Orangaroo for the instructability, draw TF3. Good card, just in case you stuck it in support. If you can start getting supporters, and you need to draw them out. The 4 3 scissor. Here's the psych though, with 70 HP grass type. There's for one, just twin place so you can search it down to two sides to put them to your bench. So it's like a Pokemon fan club for scissor for psych though. And then for two energy agility 20, you flip a coin ahead, you find all the effects of attacks, you put damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So, just in case you get stuck, you can use agility. If you get heads, they can't touch you next. So you have a scissor no matter what. Then I played one cell of steel for the new set Celestial Storm. It does uh, 140 p HP. It's Ultra Beast, basic. For metal and four double, col uh, two double colors, and just Moonmaker for 160. If the total opponent's players remaining four is exactly six, the attack can be used for metal energy. So let's say they have um, one to five, two, four, three, three. Let's say I'm winning or losing with that combination. I can use that Moonmaker. I can get Choice Battle does 190. Uh, two Damage does 210, and Kokuri does 230. So you can knock out a Gardevoir one shot. You can knock out Zorak, Nike Rocks, all those stage twos. Then I play one card Tana GX with the ability to slice off basic Pokemon uh, 178 HP. It's also Ultra Beast. Uh, it has a slice off ability. When you play this Pokemon with your hands and discard for the men's during the turn, you may discard a special energy attack from one of your opponent's Pokemon. So let's say you have a Zork from the, with a double colors, you can just slice it to slice it off. Or any other double colors like Rainbow, Unit Energy, or, that, or all those other energies. And it has attack from Metal Double Colors, use Gale Blade for 70. You can shovel this blow mine and all those cards attached to your deck. Not gonna really use it just in case if I need to. I get it back and I just use it in the ability one more time. And it has Blade GX for metal, take a prize card. So let's say you have one prize remaining, you can use Blade, you have to use a GX attack at, you can use Blade GX to take a last prize and win the game. So I've seen number four. They play two Ready Steel, that has a 130 HP, it's metal basic. For one metal energy, that's Turbo of those 30. Attach a basic energy card for this card to one of your bench Pokemon. So let's say I have a Psyched on my bench, and I have a metal energy on my uh, discard pile, I can use the attack metal to Ready Steel. I can lock up one shot of rocks with that, also I can, uh, which choice I can do 60 to a, e, a GX or EX. Or GX on a GX, it's not EX in the format. So I get my scissors ready turn two. And then for uh, Iron Hand, two metal the colors, does 90. If Regis Ice and Advantage, you have 30 from this Pokemon. Not really, not really use it for that. Attack, we, we do use it just as we play Baby Hoopa. Uh, so we can use that as an attacker too. So I play one more in line below and grab a Monk. Monk, a little Monk has the 120 HP, stage one, psychic type. It's the ability called Power Alchemy. Each basic Pokemon. Put in play each other's uh, his hand, and each player the scope has no ability. So let's say you can knock out the new Rayquaza GX from the new set. It has the Stormy Winds ability. They can't use that. Orangaru, Tapu Lele, uh, Cortana. So any any basic Pokemon that has an ability, they, we can negate. 
and attack double two sided and a goblin of colors crunch 90 for the coin has a score of energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Not really gonna use that, so we'll skip that. That played two Delmys, one of 20 HP uh basic Pokemon second type. For ability called Steelwork, your uh second your metal Pokemon attack the time more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you get a one shot on a sizzle uh type of letter if they, they did 120 more damage 100 more damage to my scissor. Or I can do the uh, cross quiet, I can get that 210 for that Zork. And then Psychic Attack is um, for the Psychic and Double Colors as Anchor Shot. 7 damage to the camera tree, so I'm not gonna really use that because I don't play in Psychic Energy. And that's pretty much it. And then the base, uh, two topics related, pretty much a staple. Want, use that one attack ability, get that supporter. Get that first turn Fat Club, or that Cynthia, the first turn Lily as well, which is pretty awesome. Then it's, uh, the sta uh, items and support that play the Energy Recycle System for the new set. You choose one, you can pick a pull basic Pokemon for a basic energy card from your discard pile to your hand, or you can shovel three basic energy cards from the discard pile to your deck. So let's say I get, I get an energy back, I have one energy on Sizzle, I can get the energy recycle, get the energy back, metal energy back, and put it on Sizzle so I have them ready to attack. Since um, Super Bowl has gone from the formats, so that's like my uh, use, use to get back energy. That play two for a blower for that uh, stadium uh, tools. The new stadium from Strider and Punishment is really dangerous with this deck, can damage my Sizzle. Strider and Punishment says. Between turns, you put one damage card of each of Pokemon's EX or GX Pokemon. Okay, so we can play one power pot to get back supporters, just because I need supporters like Cynthia's, Lily's, uh, Guzma's, Kui, stuff like that. Can I play one Rescue Stretcher? So I get, if you choose one, you put a Pokemon in the Scarf Pile to your hand, or shovel three Pokemon to the Scarf Pile to the deck. So let's say I have a with two energy and I have a Scissor on my Scarf Pile. I can Rescue Stretcher back that Scissor and have him ready to attack. Then I played four Switch to, since Floatstone's gone in the format, this is like my little switching card. So I can switch one as with a high retreat cost. Get back to someone with like scissors so I get ready to attack. Then I play four Ultra Ball, get search out those Pokemon. Discard by discard into cards, anybody. Then supporters, I play four Cynthia, since Professor Sycamore is gone and also Anna's gone as well. So that's, not, that's the best support in the game right now. Then I play two Guzma to switch out, try to get some knockouts, some thing, uh, important thing, Pokemon that are ready and stuff. Or to get my last two prizes as well. Then I play two Judge, which is, uh, they got reprinted. So each Pokemon social is handed into the deck and draw four. So that's like a new end, pretty much. Let's say it requires a GX uses the Tempest GX attack, which is the head and draw ten. We use Judge or Sword uses the too many trades. We can trade uh, Judge him into that as well. Then I play one Lily to draw to have six, but it's good first turn, so you can draw to have eight. Let's say we have an empty eight, play that first turn Lily, you draw to have eight. Then I play two, uh, one Pokemon Fan Club to get those basic Pokemon excess bridges out of the format. This is a new uh, Bridget to get uh, a Pokemon like a Cyclist and stuff. Then I play one Kukui to hit it for those numbers, then I draw two cards just in case I need to draw more cards. Then I play this new supporter, Tatum Liza. So it's usually one you shuffle your hand to draw five, take a draw five, or you can switch one of your batters. So let's set another switch card. Just if I have another supporter, I can switch out like a heavy retreater and just bring that out. Then I play three, two choice pen, so I get that 30 boost for those uh, EX and GXs. Then I play two Metal Fire Pen, which is the new tool core from the set. The Metal Pokemon is called Attached Tool, takes 30 less, and it's Deck and it has no weakness. So let's say I'm playing a fire deck. It's pretty useful. So because pretty much lose to fire. Because it gets shot one shot out by uh scissor gets one shot automatically. And so and then 30 death damage, so steel wing can be reduced by 60. If we use steel wings, we can lose and metal fire back together, we reduce by 60. So it's pretty much untouchable. Then I play four double colors and eight metal energy. So that's the deck right there. Let's see if I get a, a game with this. Hopefully I can win with this deck right here. I love playing this deck. I don't matter. I, I, I don't want to see playing right now since uh, it's the rotation's out, so there's a lot of different decks going around, which is pretty interesting. What I like. Let's see how we do. Let's see who we're playing against today. We're playing against Lucio, which is playing a fighting psychic colorless deck. It could be a Buzzwall deck. Buzzwall Garb or Buzzwall. Just Buzzwall. Just baby Buzz. Straight buzz, Buzzwall. Okay, so let's forget the flip. Call heads. And we win the coin flip, which is good. So we get to start first. And I definitely always don't want to go first. So the other hand. Okay. Oh, okay, this is not bad. Got the first time flying club on Magnus. I'm gonna attach, just I'm gonna drop promote the site there. I'm gonna promote Dumb Mice 2. And then uh let's see what they start with. So the bench are two more guys, I think. So we got, uh, oh, we got Popo, so it's an Ultra Beast deck. Okay, so Lonely Grab is going to be very, well, going to be very useful here. So I'm going to attach his metal to Psych Scissor. I'm going to play the Fan Club. I'm going to grab another Psych there. I want to see, make sure the Duck Mark's in the deck. And it is, which is good. So I'm going to go Psych there and a Grub, and a, a Lonely Grabber. Just in case he drops, there's a new, uh, 
Ultra Beast goes stack attack on GX, which has the Ultra Wall ability, so it makes uh, Ultra Beast take 10 less damage. So drop those two, I'm going to pass. Next one I'm hoping for is another energy and a scissor so we can get started attacking by the way. We can one-shot this Poipo. So he plays Choice Ban on the Poipo on the bench. Plays a Nest Ball, which is uh, basic and puts it right to the bench. Pyro search for another Poipo, or maybe a stack of Jack at GX. I'm gonna grab a Dog Wings, no cross my GX. Okay, that's fine. Like right, we go as a long I can also negate that as well. He turns our beast energy to the back line. He's going to invasion, bring out the Dawn Wings. He's probably going to see an for one here. Beast energy says we attack it to Ultra Beast that attacks it to 31 damage. So he's going to struck for one. So let's see if we can do anything else, play a support or anything like that. Okay, literally for six cards, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So what else he does? He's gonna play another Nest Ball. Probably search out another Poipo. Probably stack attacker this time. Now he's gonna search out another Poipo. He's gonna crush, try to get a crush out on that metal engine away and it fails, which is good. So I'm gonna get a Cortana GX here next turn. So it really passes. So I'll draw a Power Pad, which I don't need right now. So I'm just gonna play Cynthia. Or we draw a Metal Energy and a Scizor. I think the Metal Energy, but unfortunately, no Scizor. So I'm going to drop the Rangaroo. I'm going to attach to Scyther. I'm going to try the agility play. Let's see if it works. We're going to hit for 20. And it does work, so he can't touch us next turn, no matter what. So next turn, I can Cynthia, hopefully I get a Scizor for next turn. So we play Ultra Space, which searches for any uh, Ultra Beast. We play a search for Ultra Beast and put it to their hand. Uh, to, yep. So the Ultra Beast is going to Omega and then a Hands Hammer. Thank God I didn't go out about the Colorless Energy. It's gonna search our baby, baby buzz wall. Okay. It's gonna search the ultra space by search for Naganetto. Yep. Good as he can't touch us next turn, so we're okay for now. Let's see this. Uh, to Naganetto. Naganetto. I know has the card. I was gonna goose my bang up my scyther, which is fine. I'm okay with that. He's gonna have to take another side. It's gonna be uh, beast. Uh, beast raid will be doing 130 damage. It's gonna struck for one curse. Good thing is if I draw a scissor, I can knock it out with class card GX next turn. Cause it takes one price. So it does beast raid for 130. So we're gonna promote the scyther. So that's what I draw. I draw uh, a metal energy. I'll attach the metal, metal energy to Scyther. I'll play Cynthia again. Hopefully, draw in that Scizor. And I did, which is great. So I'm gonna walk the Scizor. I'm gonna attach a metal frying pan to it because I don't need a choice pack. I, one, I can one shot automatically with Delmice. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna get another Scyther. I'm gonna Ultra Ball to scan in the metal energy and the choice pack to get another Scyther. So I get another Scizor ready for next turn. I'm doing another little mark in this matchup because um uh there's no point there's no uh nine, uh point stack attackers in place so I drew a tag of life for next turn which is good and I'm gonna go for the cross cut GX for the knockout that's two ten let's take my two prizes take a metal energy and a stellar steel okay not bad. Let's probably the Baby Buzzle. Baby Buzzle can hit us with uh, Sledgehammer, because we have four fights now in Sledgehammer. But just because he does do that, does that, we have the Steel Wing, so they can't really, it would have to really like three shot us, if anything. Get the ball to another Naga Nadal. Let's go to Ultra Space again, searching for. No Naga Nadal. I think it's just straight Naga Nadal. No stuck attacker, which is interesting. Let's go to another Naga Nadal. So we're gonna see this next turn. We're gonna see a question hammer. And he doesn't get it this time, which is good. He's gonna Cynthia, okay? Just gonna uh, support uh, shuffle hands and then draw six cards. Let's see what he gets. He's probably looking for an energy here. He's got a choice spans, he's gonna attach it to the buzz wall. He's gonna ultra ball discarding. Cynthia and Lady. Lady's another new support card which searches for four basic energies and puts it to your hand. 
So just for nothing, he's gonna just probably get these traps. He's gonna pow pad, probably put it into Cynthia's back. Or maybe Cynthia and Guzma. Yep, Cynthia and Guzma. And he's gonna probably instruct for two here. Hopefully, he's hoping for the energy. If he does hit us, we can uh, still win. Uh, our danger perception comes into effect. And it's like he's going to hit us for 120 with Sledgehammer. He's gonna retro scratch it by shuffling those three cards. Uh, those Nag of the Dell's uh, Poipo, and that, I think that's it, is all he has. Yep, and uh, I think that was uh, another Nag of the Dell. He's gonna Sledgehammer for 120. Which is fine because now danger perception takes into effect. So I drew a double cost. I'm going to attach a metal. A Psychic to uh, metal to uh, Psychic, drop the Celeste. Yeah, I'm going to literally for three cards. But so Judge and Kukuri. Okay, that's not bad, two cards. Don't need the Retro Scratcher right now because I don't have the Psychic. So I'm going to Skill Wing for the Knockout. So Danger Perception takes it to effect. So it does 170, so I would take another prize. And it's a Cult Tanner, which is good. Just as he drops another. St uh, but there's, I don't know the only uh, uh, special energy they play really is. Um, Beast energy. So he's gonna put more Nega Nadel. So here we have to get here we have to get two ultra beast oh even two ultra beasts now in a knockout. Cause we're only be doing 40 damage thanks to um He's gonna promote the Dawn Wings. Let's see what else he's gonna do. So we're gonna see in the uh, Guzma bringing out the psych the one energy. He's probably trying to take a knockdown with the Scythe, which I'm okay with, actually. Yep, so he's got another point for next turn. Let's see if, we got the, let's see if he gets the energy. So he needs an energy to take this, knock, knock this thing out. Let's gonna shock the two. Let's see if he gets that energy. Okay, fortunately we can't take another knockdown on the next. Oh, he just scoops. Alright, that was good, guys. There's the deck in action. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for talking to us. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.